What's up guys? Classy Metal here. Uh, it's that time of the month again. I know you've probably already seen uh, plenty of videos on, on this month's Metalhead box. I got mine in today. Uh, seems like I've been getting mine a little bit later than everyone else uh, the last few months. But alas, it is here. The box is empty. I've already gone through it. Um, as you know, I like to go through the box a little bit and kind of go through the stuff, give the albums a listen and that type of stuff before I actually do this video. So I have a little bit better idea what I'm talking about and I'm not just completely lost and showing you guys some stuff. Um, I know all of you at this point, I'm sure, know what the Metalhead box is, what they're about. If not, uh, I will link them up in the description. Go check out their website. They are a monthly based subscription box uh, that delivers all kinds of fantastic metal CDs. You can get vinyl, cassettes, Shirts, all that good stuff. They have so many different options going uh, for their service now. Go check their, their website out. They have a storefront also where you can uh, pick up grab bag, CD grab bags, and uh, stuff that they have left over from previous boxes. They offer that for sale at times as well. Uh, if you subscribe to the Metalhead box, you can also choose your genre of preference. Uh, I, I go with an all metal option just because I like to get a little bit of everything in my box, but you can do black metal. Death metal, doom metal, whatever your whatever floats your boat. They have an extreme metal option uh, for you guys now. One that I've been uh, toying with the idea of swapping over to <clears throat> uh, here in the very near future. That uh, is mainly focused on black and death metal. Uh, all that being said, I'm just going to get into this stuff. Uh, the first thing is kind of the I guess a, a kind of serious part of the box. I'll show the autograph first this month. The autograph is from uh, James Murphy, a notable guitar player. Uh, he does a lot of producing now with Safe House Productions, but he, he did uh, guitar work for Testament, Obituary. He played on Death's uh, Spiritual Healing album. Just a, a pretty much a legendary guitar player at this point in the extreme metal scene. Uh, James Murphy has had some, several bouts with uh, health issues along the way, and I, I think this is a great thing that the Metalhead Box is doing this month. They have... Uh, well, I'll get it. He's He's been dealing, as I said, been dealing with health issues for quite some time. He actually did the uh, the guitar work for Testaments, the Gathering album, and he has no recollection of doing that whatsoever due to a brain surgery, surgery that he had several years ago um, to remove a tumor, a brain tumor. He's undergoing some serious health problems as of right now. Um, for those of you that aren't in the U.S., you may not know, but our healthcare system here is, uh, I guess you could say, flawed at, at very best. Uh, it's very expensive. He's 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 uh, going through some tough times, and on the back of this uh, this month's autograph, not only do you have the exclusive Metalhead box, but it has a, a way that it, if you would like to go help out uh, James, it has a link to his PayPal account. And it says it's all going goods and services, so you won't be charged any kind of extra fee or anything. Uh, if you got a few bucks to spare, I'm sure it would mean the world to this guy. I know he wasn't asking for a handout. I think this was just something nice that the Metalhead Box put on there to help out as well. Uh, definitely go do that. Uh, amazing guy. Legendary, legendary guitarist. Done some some amazing work. And uh, it would I'm, I'm sure it would mean the world to him to uh, get some support through this uh, process. If you would like to go help out, I will link up that PayPal uh, in the description as well. As I said, I mean, even if you feel guilty just because it's a few bucks, I think at this point anything would help because, as I said, uh, with the healthcare system the way it is now, everything is just so expensive. Some of you that are outside of the U.S. or have universal healthcare and that type of stuff have no idea uh, some of the things and price-wise that we have to deal with here in the States. Uh, that being said, we're going to move on for that and uh, hopefully – lighten up the mood a little bit because it was a very strong box this month i was super impressed with the stuff that i got in this uh first up we have a, a pin they've been doing pins for the last uh, few months they have uh, some mark rudolph design pins a metalhead box exclusive pins and i've been uh, super stoked with all of them that i've gotten so far no different this month i have autopsy it has the uh the little man with the scalpel there so that that is awesome that will look great on uh, my pin collection I have a little spot going with pins and buttons and stuff and that will look great It'd be a great addition to the collection uh, funny enough I just got some more autopsy for my collection I will have a collection update sometime in the very near future because I was kind of topping off uh, 
and filling in some holes in the collection for some classic albums. And, and it's definitely some stuff that I want to show off. So look forward to uh, seeing that video here in, within the next few days. Uh, next up, we'll go with the t-shirt. And um, this month I received Australian black metal band Drowning the Light. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how well with the lighting and stuff in here you can make that out. Has some pretty phenomenal artwork on this. Up under the uh, the picture says uh, Cursed Below the Waves. And uh, this really strikes me um, as some of their, uh, as a shirt very fitting, I think for their, maybe their 2015 album From the Abyss. I loved that album. And uh, for me, this shirt goes hand in hand with that album. But that may be because that's the only album that I've heard from that band. They have a ton of material out there. And I remember enjoying uh, From the Abyss so much. And I think I need to go check out some of their other stuff. I kind of forgot about the band. And uh, at this point, that's making me want to go back and revisit. Well, I guess I'll rediscover uh, From the Abyss and check out some of their other albums along the way as well. Excuse me, I was getting a little parched. Um, as I said, this was a phenomenal box. I've been super, super stoked with uh, Metalhead Box uh, along the way. They've been so good to me. And I want to support and, and be happy with everything that they're doing. But <clears throat> this, uh, this next thing I really, really, really have a problem with. Uh, I'm, I know there's been this big movement in, uh, in the metal community. And... Uh, there's been a big, I guess, an NS movement, national, very racist movement, and I was very surprised that it, it's reached the metalhead box. It's uh, it it it's very surprising and and a bit gut wrenching that, that they have. They sit this uh, this white pillowcase. I mean it, I mean, I mean just for you know, I guess I'll just try it out. Just uh, I mean just for, just for the sake that you know, I mean I'm trying to, but you know, I mean just. You know, listen to Goat Moon, White Power. Okay, all right. I'm just being goofy now that this uh, now that this video is flagged. They put a pillowcase in here this month, and um, it's pretty it's pretty awesome to be honest. I I, I never would have expected to get a pillowcase of all things <laughs> out of a out of a metalhead box, but hopefully I haven't wrinkled it up. Being uh goofy but as you can see it has a uh, Sodom oops this uh Sodom album cover there uh we have Dio the legend there cannibal corpse eating uh, I think that's butchered at birth I'm, I'm thinking and then uh Karak Angren so a little bit of uh everything you know a mesh up of some great uh classic albums and in uh just different ways of metal uh, now that the goofiness and that stuff is over, I can be serious. I have a bit of a confession for you guys, and uh, this this pillowcase will fit. in uh, well, the pillowcase leads me, I guess, uh, to this confession. <clears throat> I really, really needed that pillowcase. Uh, this is something that only only my wife knows, and uh, yeah, every night I use this pink cupcake pillow. And uh, it's become like my baby. I mean, I sleep with this. I take it to the chair with me, and it it's a bit of a uh, a constant thing of shame for me. So, thankfully, I have a new pillowcase, and I can hide the pink cupcakes with some killer metal. So that works out very well, very very well for me. So I thought I, I thought it was only fitting that uh that I shared my shame of that pillow with you guys. Uh, last but not least in this month's box, there were three CDs, and uh, they were fantastic albums. That, there was one that I was super surprised to find in here, and uh, but we'll get to that in a second. First up, we have a 2018 release. This is the uh, debut full length from uh, Indiana's, I guess, uh, Black and Speed Metal. They have a very modern thrash vibe, a bit of a punky modern thrash, toxic early toxic holocaust vibe going on i'm speaking of wraith with a uh, heed the warning i've heard people over and over in these videos say wrath it's not wrath there's an eye in there wraith heed the warning this was released on world war now records as i said here in 2018 uh inside says speed metal bastards uh very fitting this is a fast aggressive 
angry speed metal. Uh, they're, they're pissed, they're filthy, and they're fast. And it is a phenomenal, phenomenal debut. This, uh, this has me ex excited to hear more out of Wraith, to be honest with you. For a debut album, it is it is very stellar. If you're into uh, modern thrash at all, you'll probably enjoy this. System Overload, Overlord. Let me say that again. System Overlord. The next to last uh, track on this album is phenomenal. Heed the warning. The opening track was very good as well. Uh, only complaint after a while of uh, some of the tracks kind of blend in, kind of sound the same, but as far as a debut album goes, that is stellar, stellar release. Uh, definitely looking forward to spending some more time with that. Uh, next up is the one that I was a bit surprised to find in this box. Outside of myself, I've never heard anyone ever speak of this band before. This is a Canadian pagan black metal band, and uh, I already own this release, but I own it in a different version. I guess I'll show. This is the one that came in the box. This is Treskill, I believe is how you pronounce this, with Origins, or Origins, it's not in English, I believe it's in French. As I said, they are out of Canada. This was Goatspell Records release, and this came out in 2004, I want to say, maybe 2003. Um, this is the only release that I could, I've ever seen from Goatspell Records. I believe uh, they were a new label at the time of this release, and this was the only released on their whole discography but this is uh, some fantastic pagan black metal very nature themed black metal uh, we're going into autumn now uh, this is a black metal that I, I could easily uh, put on uh, put earbuds or, or headphones in and I uh, just march along with this I mean it has a very marching forward medieval uh, sound going with this and it is it is a phenomenal release uh, if you haven't checked this out I definitely uh, Definitely highly recommend that I actually love this band enough that I purchased in 2012 Four they did four re reissues through um, Cryo production I guess and they were all numbered to a hundred don't want to just show off my stuff, but here is the uh, Let me see here is the the release that I just showed in the different format. This is origins or however you want to pronounce it, but uh, probably one of the better, if not the best, uh, release from Triskill's uh, discography. So I was very stoked to have that in the box. I've, I've seen uh, several people along the way that have already received that CD, so I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic that uh, more people are being exposed to that because it's some fantastic medieval sound in pagan black metal and uh, some great stuff. Next up, we have uh, some black metal, straightforward black metal straight out of Quebec, and it is a very well-known black metal band out of Qu Quebec in that region. Uh, maybe not so much outside of that area, but they are very big in that Quebec scene. This release was in, uh, I believe, 2013, 2012, or 2013. It is the latest release from this band. This is a Monarch with their uh, full-length Lies Noir. Uh, it's L-Y-S, as I said, uh... This is also in French, being from Quebec, and um, I don't, yeah, L Y S Noir Noir. It's uh, very hard for me to speak any type of French, especially with my heavy Southern accent. This is a. I will give the first half of this album. I will describe it as a relentless, straightforward black metal assault. You have some uh, a, a little bit of atmospheres coming in later on in the album. Um, they kind of break up just the uh, the, the non-stop assault with a little bit of acoustic stuff and then just a bit of ambience but by, this is by no means shape way or form any type of atmospheric black metal this is straightforward black metal very cold very grim everything you would want out of black metal very fitting coming from Canada the coldness is there the hate is there great stuff also just check this out I, I was this is another one that I was surprised and pleasantly surprised at that to find in this box uh, that's all for this month I know this video is already flagged just for my little funny uh, well, it was funny to me I don't know if y'all thought that was funny um, pillowcase on my head that's as I said that's all for this month um, great box another another home run box it's I get these boxes now uh, DHL I hate DHL shipping and uh, it seems like I'm in a horrible region of the of the country to get anything delivered through DHL because it moves so slow this box set in a, in an area that was less than 80 miles from my house for five days before it moved again 
and was transferred to the post office and, and delivered to me. So it was a bit ridiculous. Actually, uh, I didn't ask her anything, but the folks, Melissa over at the Metalhead Box is actually shipping my, my package uh, through a different carrier next month just because of that. that It's becoming routine now, delay every month where it just sits in that one area for, for far too long. So very thankful. The customer service at Metalhead Box is top notch. As I said, they are linked up in the description as well. Definitely go check their website. They have a anything you could anything you could want in a in a monthly metal loot crate type deal is there. Go check it out. I will also say that I was uh, I, I'm a bit jealous of the uh, the vinyl Metalhead Box uh, subscribers this month because they got some awesome flags from what I saw full size flags and uh, every one that I saw was just absolutely killer. So as I said, I'm a, I'm a bit jealous of that. Also, I have the uh, collection updates coming here very soon just some random stuff that i picked up here and there some stuff from ebay Bandcamp, that type stuff so stay tuned for that that's all i've got for this month stay metal stay classy and i will see you all very very soon i promise